you scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Alrighty, hello and welcome back. So, in this part, we're going to be doing Brock's side mission. Side tail, I guess they're called tails. Um, in the chronicle, chronological order I've been doing things, what I just finished doing was Sidri's part one. And then he gave us another one, but it's like way up here and I didn't really want to touch it because I feel like it's going to have us go through the campaign and I'm trying to keep them separate so that way people that just want to see the main story don't have to sit through me exploring and doing side stuff. So anyway, I digress. We are going to be doing... Nope, that's not it. We're going to be doing this one. The Second Hand Soul Quest for Brock. So yeah, let's let's get to it. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanya raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. Okay. A little bit of more lore from Mimir. I just, it's a, I knew that had to be a green bird. I don't think I can hit it, though. From down here. I think I've got to go up. Let's grab this. So Brock says that he, sh he wants us to go check on his friend or something. Advari. And Vari or something. Alright, now I can definitely hit this bird. Let me just get into position here. Here's another, uh, portal. Okay. There was two different, like, caverns to go. Well, what's over here, then? What's that? Just money buried? I thought that was maybe a treasure or something. Come. Ooh. Hold on. Let me read this. He got his lore and I got my loot. Oh. Here's Brock. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If when you're smart, you'll find him. We're working on it, bub. Um, what does this say? Read it. Sir! Uh, these runes read death inside. Nice. <laughs> well, let's go. Find the dwarf with the green, with a green ring. So... Brock said his friend was dwarven, like him. Wearing a green ring. If you wish, I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Dwarven, but no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean... I'll keep looking. I saw something pop up. 
the ceiling. I guess not. Okay. Some more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Shit. Soul leader, huh? That would be one of those jokes that guys would be like. Soul leader, huh? That sounds like my ex-wife. That just so seems like a thing that I can, <laughs> I can totally see people saying. Ow! Shitter. I know, I know! I gotta kill this thing, though. Alright, what are we doing? You? I didn't do that right. Because <laughs> I have that deflect projectile back, but I've yet to do it. Burst. Rage is so huge in this game. I wanted to upgrade my rage burst thing. Hey, I thought you didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh. Um. What's I saying? What was I saying? <laughs> so lost. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna upgrade my um, my little burst of rage skill, but I don't. I think when you upgrade it, it just upgrades the passive the passive skills. I don't think it actually. Upgrades the skill itself. Is that not it? Wait, where the hell am I? Oh, we came from there. There's something in here, I can see it. I feel like that... No, that's the way the marker is saying, so maybe this is the side path? No ring. We're not gonna find Brock's friend alive. Oh. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, I destroyed a seal! Alright, let's go down here. Crow, but I don't know if it's a green crow. Let me look up and around for this crow. Oh no, see, that's a real crow. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Another map. That will find something useful here. This could get blown up. It looks like it could, anyway. Ok, 
Okay. Aha! Is that it? That's all that was there? That just doesn't seem... true. Really? Or seal, I guess? Honestly, I think I'm gonna wait. Would you look at that? Well, that's where we're going. <laughs> I thought if I waited to explode these, maybe I could use them against enemies. Which is still probably true, but... Alright, I'm gonna go up here, because I believe this is the other way. What is interesting, Atreus? All right, let's go. <laughs> Poor guy, he really struggled getting up there and now he's gotta come all the way back down. Atreus with his grunts and groans. Where's the ring? On that severed hand. Attached to the soul eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. I don't need to fight it, right? No. We'll fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Defeat the Soul Eater. Alright, come on, kid. Of course. Oh, oh, hey oh. So I think we're doing really good now with our new skills and stuff. Okay, let's hop across. Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. We can do this, Atreus. <laughs> Believe in yourself. As I believe in you. Alright, well, I'm gonna use that pillar. It's a lot of explosives, actually. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. What are we gonna do? Serious? Holy shit, that did a lot of damage to him.
shit. I'm gonna do this just to get some of my health back, I think. The Alchemist's ring. Dwarvish inscription. The Alchemist? But where's the rest of them? Ashes, most likely. The Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. I was trying to lead the Soul Eater to more of the little explosives, but he doesn't really follow you all that well. like my new beam attack quite frankly I don't know if I'll ever get rid of it All right, I'm just making sure there was nothing hidden Surprised you have to tell him to put it down. I feel like he should kind of just do that on his own. Can you read it? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. All right, I guess I'm leaving. Oh, great. With this freaking chaos. Yeah, well, I tried to blow that up on the guy, but it did not work. I see improvement. So that's where we're going. What's over? Wait, is it where we're going? I think it is. So I'm gonna go over here. It seems like a long journey. Oh, this is just to get back? Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's go. chance. <laughs> I see him down, but I don't think I'm going to go for it. Alright. That's it, huh?
get this chest and make our way out. All right, Brock, we've got your guy's ring. What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani Feruxi. Oh, what is this? Protective barrier? <laughs> On any successful accent, that actually sounds pretty good. But I like my look. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside before he groped. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Oh there. Got another favor to ask you to. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Bari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or are you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? Alright, another another favor from Brock. Pull the ring off on Vari's hand at the Velander mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night. Okay. Alright, well, for now. That is Just the it. sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. <laughs> What's got you all bum fuzzled? Oh, over there? Get going. That is the end of part one of Brock's favor. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you on the next one.